Hello YouTube, this is Christonian here and we're playing Towns, point four six edition. Uh, last time we set off, we just completed this, our castle looking armory with the cool new walls. And uh, also on a recommendation of other people, I might extend this just out because it's a perfect three squares, so I might add another two farms instead of having a fence here. As you can see, I put a road all the way around just to accelerate my people just a little bit. Uh, we got a stove in. I don't know if I... I think I had one stove ready with uh, the armory complete. Down below, I finally made a dining room. And we did idle. We d idled from 16 to 26, I think. So about 10 days. And I uh, bootied this up with bunch of decorations and la di da di da to get my people happy and we got up to 28 citizens which I think I believe is our max so we have one two three four five six seven so 14 15 16 17 18, 19, 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 so we are maxed out and I put in, like I said, I just put in a whole bunch of decorations to make it look nice and pretty. Got a clock in here, some tables, and I uh, laid down some roads again to accelerate it. I also moved our basic raw material over to this area underneath here, and I disabled a uh, ICE thing. I also extended our hero room, so now we have more heroes. So I'm just going to look at our food here, and we still have quite a bit. So we have 27 bread made, and I don't think that much in uh, food, no. So in this episode, I believe we're going to armor up our people like crazy. So I'm going to get them to chop all this down. And I'm going to pause, and I'm going to go on a killing spree. And the reason I do this is I just don't want my characters going all over the map like crazy trying to kill animals. Because they'll bring enemies back home. And I don't want that to happen. Now if I miss one or two, it's not that big of a deal when I'm doing it this way. And they also kill them right on the spot. Versus, I think if you actually put in the butcher command, it wants a butcher table. Which we do not have, and we don't want to waste our time with. Because with a butcher table, they carry the carcass all the way to the butcher, then chop it up. And I don't think you get any more meat. Like, it's not programmed that way or anything. This way, they just pick them up and uh, kill them all. So we're going to get a whole bunch of wood here. I'm going to make a whole bunch of armors. We might have... No, we don't have that much armor-wise. Um, also, let's see. So this is level 4. There's some copper. There's some iron. So we still have to make some iron mines itself. To uh, maximize with that. We have some really cool guys now. So here's our elf. And he has a bow. So you can shoot from like long distances. Awesome. Level 13. Yuglin de Morale. Morale. And then we have Ralph Sept Mulus. Which is a level 10. And he's like a knight. Right now he has a wooden hammer. Stone hammer. And an aura our attack aura, so his attack is actually increased. It's just one of the skills that he has. I think I'm going to attack that copper wherever it was. There it is. Oops. You can't chop chopper or copper, Chris. Um, our food just gotta make sure we stay on top of that because now we have so many citizens that will actually go through it at an accelerated rate. 
So what we also want to do is go under cooking because I have cooking at the not at how many I want in my inventory at once. I think that was what helped the population. Because if you have nothing at all, no commands, it helps out a lot. Because they're supposed to be idling, so... I'm gonna gather this up too. Because we have 25 people, it goes so much faster. But look at the, the flower. I'm at 35 there. Uh, 40, 49, 51, 60, 69 flower. So really I didn't need to gather that, but it's fine. Keeps them going. So that's what our bush uh, situation looks like. That's how many actual trees we have. What? Our population went to 30. See, I think it counts a hero sometimes because I've seen a hero die and the population has actually gone down. So... What I want to do is we're going to start up our armor business. Let's say 10 of these, 10 of these, 10 of those. We'll actually go down too. I want to go down a level and just see how our, our uh, stuff's going. We have a little bit of wood there, that's it. Probably gonna have to buy a whole, or make a whole bunch of resource barrels just so we have lots. Uh, that's looking good. We do have a connection over here, so whenever a, a, uh, a seedling does start over here, our citizens still go over and steal it for our farm. Right, they are still smart enough to do that. Okay, so a whole bunch of armors are getting produced. Oh, here's a whole bunch of uh, raw material barrels. So we still have uh, seven iron too. But we're gonna need a lot more than that for suiting up our whole population because we have a huge population. Oof. So that's that same elf. They also have critical strike as you can see. And these guys have poison attack, level nine. William Pansevolt. We also had dwarves, so I did get dwarves. <laughs> He's carrying a hammer. That's the weapon of choice for him. Okay, so I'm gonna dig down again because we want to get at this iron. So I'm just gonna dig over here and clear this area out just a little bit, just so I can see it better. Um, what do we need here? Torches and wood. Wood is kind of weird, unless we have lots of wood. Let's uh, chop this all again, because we're gonna keep on needing it for our armor production. We'll see how our uh, armor or armor quota is coming along. It looks like, yeah, we've created seven helmets, nine pants, seven chest armor, and nine boots, or feet, whatever you want to call it. And what I did here is I also. Uh, made it only take wood because I didn't want them to go into our mines and try to pick up um, try to pick up uh, items and get themselves killed so that's I did the same with the containers I explained that in the last episode that's why they they only contain wood they only contain iron like just one for each resource well, there's probably a couple actually. Some only take stone or wood. But yeah, that's again just a control. So let's cut, 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 cut. Again, we're getting a good uh, piggage going on here. So I'm gonna kill all this, and we're gonna look at our bread supply. And if our bread is uh, 
low. I'm gonna create about 50. You'll get to see the power of 30 citizens or 28 citizens, whatever I have. It says 30, but I don't know if that's trustful anymore with the... Uh, uh, holy, we're low on food. I don't know if that's trustful anymore with heroes getting counted in. So I'm gonna try for uh, 50, because we know we have that at least. Actually, let's go for the whole 60, because we know that's there for sure. <clears throat> and that didn't even include our last gathering of uh, wheat that we did. Let's gather this again. And let's go down to that level. And we did get our staircase down, so that's good. Or our ladder. Whatever you wish to call it. So I'm gonna grow. Oh! Can't chop the stone crystal. No. So let's go like that, and hopefully that'll get us a decent amount of iron. We still haven't found coal, and that's what's crippling us right now. Oh! Speaking of the devil, uh, we need all this coal for our torches that will go into our mine shafts. Just a couple stuff. It's everywhere. <laughs> okay, now let's see how our armory order went. So it's all done. So now I'm gonna pause and we're just gonna go in and auto equip everybody. should get eight people armored up. Let's check our weapons. We Oh, we have some stone ones over here. So we might have enough uh, weapons, at least for the first order of people. So I just want to... guys look like they're going down into the mines or something. What are they doing? That's weird. I guess they're waiting for commands from the actual game system itself. There must be something over here. Yeah, they're going for the flail. Or, ooh, a helmet of the pink slayer. And we have a couple ghosts over here and another flail. At least they're coming together in a, a bunch, so it should, they should hopefully survive. Oh, you goof. Gregory. Oh, there was a human uh, remains there. So I just destroyed, oh, there's another one, jeez. There's like three bodies there. So I'm just destroying them, so there's a uh, less chance of ghosts. Okay, so we have bread up the yin yang. Our armors are coming together. People are still equipping themselves. We got all these guys that have auto equip on. They're going across over here to get that uh, flail for some reason. Must be a special flail. As long as I don't keep losing guys to it, I won't have to kill anybody. Get mad, become the Hulk. Oh yeah, I put a highway in here too, just to speed up the heroes, because they use the highways. Uh, let's go down here. Oh, look at that. So we broke our way into the new dungeon lair. So I got that. Okay, let's see. There was some fighting going on. Top layer, see what's happening with these ghosts over here. 
28 is what, I don't know, someone else died. I sent down here for mining. Need our heroes to get in here and clear it out. That goblin. <laughs> oh, so many people are going down. Predictable. Predictable. Come on. And there's no way to really tell them not to go after that. I guess I could, but. It's getting stupid. There are some people with flails. Kill them all. Come on. Yeah! Oh, there was another guy right there. Come on, kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Fight. <sighs> oh, there's a guy on this level now. I wish there was a way. They need to put like a flag system here. So I can say I want my heroes to go here. So my heroes can come down and clear this out. Because they're high enough level to accomplish it. Oh, Boren is going to die. So this is Christonian here playing Towns. Hope you guys are enjoying it. We had 28 citizens, now we're down to 20. Um, that's funny how slow he walks when he's sleepy. It's like, just go to bed, man. Jeez. So again, as always, just post uh, advice and comments uh, where you do like this as a C. In this episode, we accomplished a whole bunch of armor. We uh, created a whole bunch of food so we don't get into a starving situation again. We just had another influx of citizens. We're up to 24 instead of 20, so that's still good. We're still idling enough that we can also get citizens whenever we need them. So this is Christonian signing off. Thanks for coming by, guys, and hope you guys are enjoying, as always.